G'day guys, my name is Huey Liu and I'm a Senior Services Architect based out of the Melbourne CA office. And today we're going to talk about site minor concepts. One of the issues with single sign-on between different cookie domains is that a cookie for one domain is not valid for another. For example, an SM session cookie in the app.companya.com domain will not be valid for the app.companyb the com domain. This is an inherent security feature of the web. The browser will just not send the SM session cookie to the company B.com domain. In order to provide single sign on, SiteMon has a feature to get around this issue. It's called the cookie provider and it will be discussed next. So what is a cookie provider? A cookie provider is just a SiteMiner web agent that ensures that there is a SiteMiner SM session cookie in the cookie provider domain. And there can only be one cookie provider configured per deployment. So a use of a web server farm for high availability is required. After the cookie is set, the user will not have to re-authenticate while moving between single sign-on domains as the browser will have multiple SM session cookies. So let's recap multi-domain single sign-on with a cookie provider. In the first step, there is no SM session cookies in any domains. So when the browser requests a protected resource in a.com, a.com will redirect the browser to the cookie provider domain, in this case b.com, to see whether a cookie exists. In step 3, the cookie provider will determine that no cookie exists in b.com and therefore will redirect the browser back to a.com with an SM session equals no in the query string. The user will then authenticate to a.com in step 4. In step 5, the user will then be redirected to b.com, the cookie provider domain, with the SM session cookie in the query string. The cookie provider will set the SM session cookie in the b.com domain and redirect the user back to a.com with the SM session cookie in the query string. In step 8, a.com then sets the SM session cookie in the a.com domain and in step 9 will redirect the user or the browser back to the protected resource. At this stage the browser will have both a.com and b.com SM session cookies. Now that the user has logged into a.com, let's have a look at what happens when they traverse to z.com. Here we will show how single sign-on works and show that the user does not have to enter in the username and password again. In step 1, the browser requests a protected resource in z.com. As there are no SM session cookies in z.com, in step 2, Z.com will redirect the browser to the cookie provider to check to see if there is a cookie in B.com. The cookie provider determines that yes there is already an SM session cookie and therefore in step 3 redirects the browser back to Z.com with the existing SM session cookie in the query string. In step 4 Z.com then sets the SM session cookie in the Z.com domain. In step 5, it then redirects the user to the protected resource. At the end of all that, the browser has a.com, b.com and z.com SM session cookies, therefore allowing single sign-on between all three cookie domains. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, please visit the CA Learning site.